Hey you guys, I'm Geek. In this video, I'm going to be playing Aegis Defenders on the Nintendo Switch. This game just came out today. I received the code so I can make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, right now, let's go ahead and here show you guys the settings here for a second. Uh, you got controls. This game, you can actually play with two players. So each individual could use a Joy-Con. And one using the Joy-Con, one controls one character and the other one controls the other character, which is really cool because in this game you actually switch between characters, so it's very possible to use one in one Joy-Con, which is good. You got audio, languages, data, vibrate, it also has HD rumble, and of course it has this feature, follow the character or split the screen when the characters are separate. Uh, let's go and start right here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the game. Load up right there. Yeah, I'm gonna choose this load up right there. Okay, so here we are in our little camp. Uh, this is right before the mission starts. Uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and click right here. Uh, this character, you control this character, which is Clue, and he switches you, over here. You switch between arrow or or gun. This is like a little rifle or something like that. I'm going up the body. And you switch over here, go to arrow. Uh, when you want to switch characters, tap right there. Oh, the other character is not available right now because we're not in gameplay. Uh, right now, if we click right here, no. If we click right here, this is where you save. So here, this is where you're going to save your character. This is glue. And right here is where you're going right. to buy stuff. Uh, like right here, this is sold already. This is sold. This is the weapon that I have, a burst rifle. Uh, this is a shovel, so on, so on, but you need credit, and the credit that you earn is while you're playing in the video, and so on. There's going to be a lot more things you're going to be unlocking here. Uh, keep in mind, this game is basically like a platform RPG and with, um, like, tower defense. Yeah, with tower defense. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is that since I'm going to switch to game uh, tv mode because i don't like the way this looks on the camera right here it's kind of hard to recognize your your little character all right now these are the worlds i already did part one this is part two eastern border confirm let's go and confirm there should we go to the eastern border yeah let's go so there you go right before each mission you're gonna have like a little cutscene just like this and it's gonna you know play out the story you know show you guys what's going on in the background what's going on with the story and all that it's really cool i like the way they actually tell the story here it's really nice uh but what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna switch to tv mode that way you guys can appreciate a little bit more the gameplay aspect of this game and we'll be back Said, this is the mm -hmm. eastern border and uh, this is how the conversations are usually oh. done in, during oh. gameplay mm. and your grandpa name is oh. actually Bart and your name is Clue um, and you see here we get to choose our answers uh, depending on the answer that you actually choose is the points that you actually gain as well at the end like you saw there when we answered there was like a um, like a little pop-up that came up and it said like 15 VP I think it was RP I think it's RP so here with your grandpa he actually uses and like a hammer there you go you can push that boom, boom. but of course as you keep on progressing you know, of course you you hit with the Y ZL, you just tell your character to follow you or to wait. Like right here, we have two switches. So I tell them to wait right there and I go to the other switch. And there we go. We just saw that. Of course, I can use uh, that or I can use the burst rifle, which is pretty cool. It's kind of weird that in this type of game, you actually have like a, a real mechanical rifle, right? Because it looks like this game looks like. One, one, um, those old type of games like from the woods classic games there you go. <laughs> okay so we 
we got another switch over here. These right here that have those shelves. Um, you gotta keep on hitting them until the you can see there the symbol for the shield disappears. The red ones, the ones with red shield, actually uh, can take more damage. Uh, you need these material. The materials that you see that are like blue are for clue. He, of course, he can use, he can create like little bombs or uh, my, bombs that you can actually use as mines as well because you could put your, your bomb right in front of uh, one of these uh, creatures and Wait. if they walk through the bomb, they just explode like right there. There's a bomb right there. And voila, he died. <laughs> and that's it. For Come Bart, here. which is the other character, um, everything that's yellow corresponds to him they see on the top of the corner it says two out of six zero out of six now uh, that's because i have only two materials for the blue clue right whoa, and whoa. for grandpa i have zero so if i want to create like something with the grandpa like, um he actually uses like uh you can actually create like a turret right now i can't do it because i, I i'm missing some some of the elements Oh crap. Okay. And we got a little heart there. Uh, and we die. <laughs> and we die here. But luckily, we could go ahead and replay from checkpoint. And loading time, like you see here, loading time is pretty fast. So we're back here again. And we don't have to. Look at that. We don't have to do the little puzzle. We just gotta take care of this guy again. We're gonna put a bomb right there. That way he can walk towards it boom blow up Billy there you go I could take that if I want in another video if I wasn't doing the video I would actually try to get that heart on the bottom yeah, see there's sub abilities and passive ability each character has a unique sub abilities and passive Normally, I would have showed you guys the gameplay from the beginning, but um, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is that the, in the beginning, it act, it's actually showing you the tutorial, and here we're just doing it ourselves already. Um, here, of course, we have more enemies, so the, in the beginning, it's a little bit slower because it's actually teaching you how to play the game. So there, there's traps, and there's bomb. There's a bomb. There's traps, traps, and bombs. Those can be actually created. The traps as well can actually be created by Clue as well. Grandpa. And like I said before, as you keep on progressing, you will be able to um, create more stuff as well. There you go. <laughs> cring, 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 cring. There you go. We kill him. They're dead. Okay, wait a second. Nope. I think we could just. No, oh, wait a second. Okay, just jump up. <laughs> we got a checkpoint there, so if we die, we'll, we'll just end up right here again. So, like you see, the game actually looks pretty damn cool. Um, of course. This game is actually not for everybody. Not everybody's gonna like these type of games. And I don't usually buy these type of games. I go, boom, you're dead, boy. But you see, that was, that was like a little puzzle we had to solve there. Which actually worked out for us. Um, but this game actually looks pretty cool. I saw, uh, saw the cutscenes and I saw the description of the game. And I said, you know, go ahead and send me a code. Now just make a video for it. I forgot the price of it. I think the price is fifteen or twenty dollars. I think it is. Or ten, I don't know. It's between ten or fifty or twenty dollars. I can't tell its exact price because every time you buy the game or use a code, it just says purchase and it doesn't actually show you the price. That kinda sucks. I'm gonna have to start writing down the prices before I 
get the codes because I always forget to look at the price before I, you know, I submit the code. Okay, Wait. so. Oh, oh crap. Okay. What are we going to do here? Clue! Clue! There, like you see, I can't go through with Clue. Wait. I can't Grandpa. go through with Clue. So I'm gonna have to switch to Grandpa. And yes, look at that. Because like you see there, the door actually has a yellow, like a yellow shield. And for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, your Grandpa can go through the yellow shield and you can't. I don't know. <laughs> huh? Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> okay, switch characters. It's hard to communicate. Like I said, door color color doors. Because you're on the other side of the door, so you actually have to switch the character. I actually like to use the arrow, but the arrow, the distance is not that good. What am I doing here? No, should I be jumping over here? No. Nah. Oh. nah. Okay, there's something down here. I think the green stuff is... The green stuff that you collect is actually like uh, currency that you use to buy stuff, buy weapon or upgrades. Okay, at least we got Over our here. three hearts back again. There we go. So warp checkpoints, gather four far away party members, single player only. Okay. So like you see, this game actually has, I guess, online multiplayer. I haven't tried that yet, but if anything, ask me in the comments yes. after the video is done. But I haven't tried that. I don't, I don't think <laughs> this game actually has multiplayer. But like you saw there, there was something. Like, oh, okay, look at that. We got 26 point for that answer. Wait. And here is, this is where the... Oh, the tower defense mode or features actually come in. All right. Let's see, color bonus part one: hitting an enemy with a matching color weapon does three times more damage. Bart is yellow. Clue is blue. There you have it. For example, blue three turn, blah, blah blah blah. Like you see there, the door is flashing like blue. So obviously, anything that you put there like blue from blue is actually going to do more damage that if I put uh, if I put like a turret from grandpa it's not going to do that much damage than, than clues damages so that's what it is now like I said I don't know if this game actually has multiplayer because like you see right there it did tell me single player only maybe it's referring to co-op you know because in this game you can actually play co-op you can play uh, two person can play with uh, separate Joy-Cons and one character, one Joy-Con controls one character, the other Joy-Con controls the other character, which is cool. It's really cool in a game like this. It's really nice. So we got to defend this thing in the middle, right there. And like you see here, Grandpa, we collect some stuff so we can create a turret. Right now there's a bar going up. Once that's done, it, the turret is complete. We gotta keep collecting stuff. Okay. Enemies are Wait. coming. Grandpa! Hey, Grandpa! And that's it. 
So like you see there, this that was wave one, which was really simple. Of course, as you keep on progressing, you know, wave, you know, wave one is gonna be a lot more harder than you, you just saw here. And like you see there, the colors just changed in the, these little tunnels here. So that means we need to use grandpa's attacks here. We need to uh, put a, oh crap, I did put the block, but I need some more yellow. There you go. There you go. Let's see. There you go. So now we have a turret right there. Right now we cannot put anything here. Like I said, we need... Okay. No, I can't put nothing here because I need... Uh, I need more RDs and other stuff. And of course, that bar right there that you see in the bottom going down is that letting you know that the second wave is coming really soon. So you gotta have your defenses up, you know, before the, the bar to totally disappears. And that's when you start attacking all the stuff that you put together, like you see there. I'm putting another turret here, even though this is, even though this is blue, I'm just gonna put a turret there. Let's still do a little bit of damage. That's it. So basically, that's it. That's all you do in this game. Uh, once this wave is done, um, the mission is over, and you go back to the little camping site. And in that camping site, with all the credit that you earn during gameplay, uh, you will be able to upgrade your weapons. You can actually upgrade your arrow and your weapons. You can actually upgrade your turrets and all that. But you know, you're gonna need to keep on playing and grinding a lot to, so you can earn those points. Um, Cause you know, there you go. We got some points there which were hidden. Kind of weird. We're hidden up there, but we got that. Um, and that's it. That's the basically the base of this game. A very cool, you know, type of platforming game with um, RPG elements, and it also has some tower defense elements, which actually looks really cool. Okay, well, I think we're ready for the next round too, right? Yeah, we're done. We got enough. We got. I put some traps there with some uh, with a grenade, a bomb. No, not a grenade, bomb. I think you can actually use grenades here as well. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. That's it so we only got one wave left uh, which is that's it you know one wave left then you you're done with the mission um, guys I'm gonna end the video here because uh, the video is getting long and I'm I always trying to make the video as short as possible I know you don't want to sit over 20 minutes of video but sometimes I do have to go over 20 minutes video but let me know what you think about this game so far if you have to play, played it already uh, but it looks really cool I really like it I like the elements the combination of all these elements together in one game it's really nice um, so but I don't know the price so sorry about that so but if you want interested in it just go to the eShop store and look up for the price and that's it guys thanks for watching the video this was ages defenders on the Nintendo switch till next time guys